Camel caravans once stopped in Samarkand on their way from China to Europe. In the first edition of Uzbekistan Life, we trace the legacy of the legendary Silk Road and explore how it still influences the city today. Samarkand was in a perfect position on the network of roads which once weaved along 10,000 kilometers. For 2,000 years, thousands of merchants, diplomats, pilgrims, warriors and others passed through this city, leaving their footprints behind them. The main mission of the merchants who came here from different parts of the world in different times, besides bringing their best commodities, was the constant desire for knowledge, for exchange new revolutionary ideas, to exchange cultures, traditions, religions and languages. Among those new ideas was the art of paper making from China. The secret technique travelled to Samarkand and local craftsmen developed it further. The famous paper made from mulberry bark was then exported worldwide. Zarif Mutarov made his dream come true when he revived this lost art of paper making. He still uses the traditional 1,000-year-old technique in his workshop with its wooden water mill. Our paper has a unique sound. The paper is renowned for its exquisite quality and called silk paper because of its smooth, shiny surface. Many 9th and 10th century Arabic and Persian manuscripts were written on it. Only emirs, sultans and viziers could afford this paper. That's why it's known as royal paper. When I hold this paper in my hands, I feel like I'm holding a treasure, a world treasure. The Silk Road caravans exported this paper to Asia, the East and Europe. Most trading was done in the city's many bazaars. And today, they're as busy as ever. The culinary ingredients imported to Samarkand were incorporated into the city's cuisines, reflecting a melting pot of cultures. And the flavor of Samarkand is still in the air. The Great Silk Road brought us spices like nutmeg, cloves and black pepper. Trade in spices, silk, porcelain, fine carpets and weapons played an important role. But music and instruments were also exchanged. Bopur Sharipov is on his way to collect his new rhubarb. A rhubarb looks a bit like a lute and is made from mulberry wood. It has five strings and is covered with fish skin. This is my rhubarb. The instrument was spread via the Great Silk Road to the different countries of Central Asia. It's up to 12 months to carve one of this country's musical treasures. These songs reflect our rich history and inspire my soul. Continuing along the Silk Road, we're on the way to Bukhara, another big centre on the historical trade route. In the next edition of Uzbekistan Life, we visit the ancient city and explore its rich heritage of local handicrafts. <laughs>